Hi, welcome to the Sankofa Pan-African series. Have you downloaded your free copy of our children's illustrated biography of African legends yet? Please do so if you haven't. Don't forget that we owe our children a responsibility to expose them to our history. Also, please help us to continue bringing you videos like this one by supporting us through Patreon or Buy Me Coffee. Please, please also subscribe, share, and like our videos. Our legend today is Ellen Johnson Selif. Ellen Johnson Selif was born on October 29, 1938, in Monrovia, Liberia. Her father, was the first indigenous Liberian to sit in the National Legislature of Liberia. She attended the College of West Africa in Monrovia and got married early at the age of 17 to James Sirleaf. In 1961, Erlin Johnson Sirleaf went to the United States with her husband and studied economics and uh, business administration. She later obtained a master's degree in public administration from Harvard University in 1971. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf served as assistant minister of finance under President William Talbot, and uh, she also served as finance minister during Samuel Doe's uh, military dictatorship. She was, however, very outspoken about personal financial integrity and ended up clashing with both heads of state. During Doe's uh, regime, she was imprisoned twice and uh, narrowly avoided execution. In 1985, in the 1985, um, national election. She campaigned for a seat in the Senate and openly criticized the military government, which led to her arrest and a 10-year prison sentence. Uh, she was released um, after a short time, and, and then she left the country. So she spent her time on exile in, in Kenya and the United States. Um, during which period Liberia collapsed into civil war. So during her exile, she worked for the World Bank, uh, Citibank, and other international financial institutions, and was the director of the Regional Bureau for Africa and the United Nations Development Program. After a truce was reached in Liberia, um, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf ran for president in the 1997 election under the umbrella of the Unity Party. She finished second uh, to Charles Taylor and was forced back into exile when his government charged her with treason. Liberia's civil war was reignited and um, after uh, Taylor went into exile, in uh, 2003, Johnson Sirleaf returned to Liberia to chair the Commission on Good Governance, which oversaw the preparations for democratic elections. In 2005, she again ran for president, vowing to end civil strife and corruption, establish uh, unity, and rebuild the country's devastated uh, infrastructure. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf stood for election and won, thereby becoming the president of Liberia on January 16, uh, 2006. She could not have picked a tougher time to serve as president. Due to the protracted civil wars, there were over 15,000 United Nations peacekeepers in the country, and unemployment was as high as 80%. She immediately sought and got debt amelioration, and by 2010, 
Liberia's entire debt had been erased and Johnson Sirleaf had secured millions of dollars of foreign investment in the country. She also established a Truth and Reconciliation Committee in 2006 to probe corruption and heal ethnic tensions. Economic progress continued during her second term until the country was hit with the Ebola uh, virus in 2014. So over the course of the next two years, the disease killed thousands of Liberians, crippling the country's economy and erasing many of the country's gains of the preceding uh, post-war years. In recognition of Johnson Sirleaf's leadership of uh, Liberia during the challenging period of transition after the country's devastating years of conflict and for the positive changes that took place in Liberia under her administration. She was awarded the 2017 Ibrahim Prize for Achievement in African Leadership. Thanks for watching. Please download your free copy of our children's books and support us through Patreon or by buying me coffee. Also, tell your friends about this channel.